They say, don't you wish you owned a Buick? I own a 70 uh, Riviera. I got it up here beside the Lamborghini. Old ratty Riviera, I call it. I love him 455s. You can't go wrong. I was uh, I went to No Name Nationals in mine this past weekend. Drove it a thousand. No Name Nationals. It's in Sykes, Missouri. I drove a thousand miles in a car that was sitting abandoned for 18 years five months ago. Pay 800 for it, put a thousand in it. Drove it down there. And if you go to Junk Car Willie on YouTube and Facebook, you, I was burning rubber halfway down the track. <laughs> you know, that's 4,600 pounds going. I, they're 4,280 without fluids of me in it. Heavy car. Didn't even set the timing up or nothing. I love it. I lo you local? Uh, uh, How long you owned it, sir? Uh, well, that's part of your family. In the 80s, I owned a 70 Scarlock 350, but in 91, sir, they parked my 70 Riviera down by the Lamborghini. I wish they'd park me beside you. 455 and your mine what you got in this 455 yeah yeah them are some rare engines ain't they 375 10 torque i just took mine to the no name nationals and took it down the track eight times stock car that i paid 800 dollars where i got 18 in it total that just that shows you how good the buicks are it's not me it's the engines you can't break them torque all day long so this it's the same motor as mine, but in a lighter car, different gears. Same 400 turbo trans, it's exact same dimensions. Mine's 375, 10 torque. Um, this one is to GS. Now this is a GS, it might be 350 horse. I think the, I'm not, not sure on that guys, I'll have to check. I'm digging the chrome valve covers. It's cool to see a, another Buick engine, you know what I mean? A 455. Love it. Just love it. How long you owned it, sir? Uh, since about 1986. Oh, well, this is like part of your fan. That's like a leg or something. Yeah. Well, I tell you, it's beautiful colors. I'm, I, I just want to say thanks for bringing it out and keeping it original like that. Instead of making a... You know, street cars are nice, but, you know... Cruisers is where you do most of your driving anyway. 75 Nova, guys. And you guys can just freeze frame this stuff. Let me get back a little bit. Because I'm not ever going they got us right by the street, guys. I'm like the old Buick, man. Just like me, representing the Buicks. Gotta stop, man. I had a 67 GS. Uh, my buddy MK Olinger gave me and his dad was gonna he's gonna scrap it where he bought it up in Paramount set for many years looks about the same you can tell this had a vinyl top on it it's charcoal gray and a black vinyl top 67 Scarlet but you know I had it back in the uh, yeah it's been my boy is about three somewhere around 95 I owned it you know I keep forgetting all the Buicks I own. The more I see, the more I've owned. A Houndstooth Interior really looks good with that silver and black. Oh, yeah. Now, how long have you owned that? Oh, bad. Okay, well, you said close it. I do not. Oh, yeah, I have one like it. It's a beautiful car. It's a friend of mine. Now, I owned a, I owned a 83 T-Type, which had the same engine and, as the Grand National, same. They just had the chrome bumper. They weren't blacked out. Mine was black and silver down the side and red inside. But I had it in uh, 89, you know, when it was practically new. Yeah, T-types. In fact, you don't see them. Like, you see, they made more of them, but you just don't see them at car show. Same dry trains. You ever find one? That is unreal. Oh, man, it's so much easier to do this with a tripod. Well... 1300 videos in I'm just now starting to use a tripod on my $200 phone nice I like that oh I forgot to tell you what it was 60 guys with Sabre but most of you guys knew about this stuff before I did look at the cars down through there on this beautiful day Saturday October the 8th 
Toronto, West Virginia. This has been going on since October the 5th. Subscriber just told me about it last night. Asked if I wanted to come. Appreciate it. I appreciate you getting this one. This is a special car, guys. You do not see these in convertibles. This is an unreal car right here. It kind of looks like something you'd see at SEMA. It truly is a build. Look at that. Hey, Buick is where it's at, guys. Brute horsepower, 1948. Yeah, you don't see, you see these sometimes, rarely. Never see them converted, convertible. You never see them built this quality. Yeah. Besides mine. This is the only second one I've seen here. Yeah, there's a 70 down there by a Lamborghini. This is the only other Riviera I've seen here. Wonder who owns that other Riviera. I love these. So this is a 66. Is yours? Oh. 64, the first year for the Riviera. Very first year. Look at that. At least they picked the right spot, right guys? Loving it. I'm trying to film all the cars. I know I can't do no minute videos, so it's going to be quick videos. But I'm trying to show them all.